Hello students, this is Ponam teacher back with a new video of science 1. I hope you have completed this table as I have told you into my previous video. See, I don't have space over here. That's why I'm not showing you the structural formula. But the molecular formula of ethane, which is the second hydrocarbon into the alkane series is C2H6. That of propane is C3H8, butane is C4H10, pentane is C5H12. Hexane is C6H14, Heptane is C7H16, Octane C8H18, Nonane C9H20 and Decan is C10H22. So no need to worry, there is one general formula I have taught you of alkane, it is CNH2 n plus 2. So you have to substitute the number of carbon atoms and this is how you can form this molecular formula. Now into the structural formula see like this the number of carbon atoms is given and these are connected with each other with the help of the single bond the only thing is that you'll have to add the hydrogen atoms over here and then you'll have to satisfy the valency of this carbon atoms so this is how your structural formula will be ready so please complete this entire table into your notebook also and in the same way you will form the alkene series alkene means the unsaturated hydrocarbons is general formula is CnH2n. So the molecular formula of ethene instead of ethane, ethene will come if you are taking alkene. The only difference is instead of A, there E will be there and the molecular formula will be C2H4 and there is going to be a double bond. So please complete that series of alkene also into your notebook in the same way alkynes. And the molecular formula, uh, the general formula of alkynes is CnH2n minus 2 and there is going to be a triple bond. Now let's move forward and then as I have already taught you the meaning of isomers. Isomers are the compounds with same molecular formula but different structural formula. And that day I taught you that this is a straight chain butane. So it is a simple butane or normal butane. Its molecular formula is C4H10 and this one is isobutane. It will also have the same molecular formula that is C4H10 but it is a branched structure. This is a branched chain and this one is the straight chain. So there is a similarity into the molecular formula but the structures are different. So such compounds are going to be known as the isomers of one another. Now see here there is a ring given that is this ring belongs to cyclohexane. The molecular formula of cyclohexane is C6H12. So here the hydrogen atoms are not shown. Only the carbon ring is shown of the cyclohexane. And here it is the structural formula. So this one is cyclohexane and not cyclohexane. There is a mistake into your book. So please make a correction. And here you instead of A, E, right here a and this is cyclohexane cyclohexane is different see this one is cyclohexane wait i'll show you ha huh. see this one is cyclohexane and see it will be having a double bond over here understood so this one is cyclohexane its molecular formula is also different that is c6h10 and here it is cyclohexane so its molecular formula is c6h12 and the structural formula is going to be somewhat like this there will be no double bond present into the cyclohexane but in cyclohexane you will notice that there is a presence of double bond like this so don't get confused there is a mistake into your book so please make a correction over here now let's move towards the saturated hydrocarbons i've taught you the saturated hydrocarbons are the alkenes and these are the straight chain see there, this is a propane and uh, molecular formula of propane is c3h8 and this is the structural formula then propane it is unsaturated hydrocarbon so molecular formula is going to be c3h6 and there's going to be a double bond like this understood and then propyne triple bond will be there and the molecular formula is c3h4 so please keep the general formulas the general formula for any alkene is cnh2n for alkene is uh, sorry cnh2n plus 2 for alkene it is cnh2n for alkynes it is cnh2n minus 2 so in alkenes, alkenes will be saturated hydrocarbons. They will be having single bond. And if there is presence of double or triple bond, you should 
uh, make sure that these are the unsaturated hydrocarbons so the hydrocarbons with double bond are known as alkenes and the hydrocarbons with triple bond are known as alkynes so that is why it is propane it is propene and it is propyne please keep that into mind then branch chain hydrocarbons I have taught you that this is isobutane molecular formula will be C4H10 and then one carbon atom will be connected to another carbon atom like this and it will not come into the straight form and that is what will be known as a branched structure understood now this is isobutylene you can say isobutene or isobutylene both are correct and see this is the isobutylene structure and here these are branched form these are not present into the straight line like this see these are the straight line so, but these are present into the branched form and one carbon is connected to another carbon over here with a double bond and this is known as isobutylene you can also say that it is isobutene i s o b u t e n e then these are the cyclic hydrocarbons that means a ring will be there you can see that this is a cyclohexane as i have taught you there and then cyclopentane with molecular formula c5h10 then this one is cyclohexane now cyclohexane it will be an al aromatic alkene whenever there is a ring form that that such kind of hydrocarbons will be known as aromatic hydrocarbons and if it is a chain form let it be a branched chain or a straight chain then these are known as aliphatic hydrocarbons and if these are present into ring form these are known as aromatic hydrocarbons so now this one are the aromatic hydrocarbons now here it is cyclohexane with molecular formula c6h10 and there there's a presence of double bond like this then cyclopentane there's no double bond molecular formula c5h10 carbon atoms will be arranged into a ring with two hydrogen atoms to each carbon atom then here it is benzene c6h6 i have taught you this into my previous video and this will be having alternate single and the double bonds so these are the aromatic hydrocarbons so these are the types of hydrocarbons some of the car uh, hydrocarbons can be uh, saturated with single bond some are going to be unsaturated with the double or the triple bond some are going to be branched like this branched hydrocarbons branch chain hydrocarbons like this and some are going to be cyclic that means aromatic hydrocarbons so please keep all those all those things into your mind